The following Let's Play has been rated perfectly fine to watch. Any attempts to break the game are for entertainment value only. However, if any typos happen to be found... <laughs> Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game! When we last left off, this question mark here was kind of trolling me. What's supposed to be here is another Krunk clone. But that's not going to happen. I spoke with Reiner and he says it's a glitch. So it's impossible to get the last clone, at least by normal methods. There is, of course, the easy mode. I can activate that and have the Krunk clone instantly found. Which would be a bit of a shame because while I was kind of wanting to show off the easy mode, in this case, it wouldn't be all that interesting. It just makes the Krunk clone appear. It wouldn't be like if I made easy mode on a battle. In between, while trying to hunt down finding a way to get that Krunk clone to appear, I wound up making a couple of mistakes. First off, this person here, Porkchop, she did that. I was looking around, it's like, hey, wait, I can play the slot machine at five times and complete this quest? Sure, um, I'll go ahead and start doing that. And I wound up losing my money. I only was able to play it once. I only had enough money to play it once. But I figured, well, that's okay. I can just go finish the current quest. And then I'll probably get enough reward money to finish the slot machine thing. Except the current quest is there, so I wasted $200. And also, I was kind of watching myself play through the video while editing. And it's like... There was another sort of thing where I would get 20 luck, and it's like, okay, I saved on a day where I get that 20 luck, don't save again, don't save again, and then I saved again and lost the 20 luck. Anyway, let's go ahead and go in here now, where these other clones are, and they don't say anything, and this guy just says the same thing he said before. So let's uh, do easy mode. I'm kind of worried that doing this will kind of give me not the best ending, but... I figure I have two options. I can either save on a different file and then continue from the older file, or if it turns out the reward for this quest isn't that great, I just won't save anyway. At the very least, I do want to show what the rest of this quest is like, so I, at least I'll do that. Yep, sure enough, that makes that appear. And speak with number three. Alright. So, we're all together once again. Thanks, simple man. Okay, I believe you about the clones. Yeah, because having just one clone, that wasn't good enough. Having more than one clone, that's what you need. I mean, it doesn't matter if the one guy is a clone, you need more than one. You should see the look I'm giving this game right about now. Now, can you tell me what's going on? We've sensed that Krunk has reactivated his cloning machine. Are we going to have to fight multiple Krunks? Kind of think of it, I'm pretty sure there's an enemy sprite that looks like that. This can only mean he's trying to create more clones of himself, and they probably won't have a free will. We can't let that happen. Who knows if the new clones will be able to get free like we did. Krunk would create a hundred servants, or soldiers. But... He's up to something else, too. There's a teleporter built into this house. That's how he got away earlier. I bet at least a lab where we were created. Wait, so you don't know how to get to the lab where you were created? Did you just not wake up until you were taken out of the lab or something? It's tuned to his DNA, so it can only be activated by him. Or all four of us at the same time. Why all four of you? Isn't one of you good enough? He set it up so we can follow him, but only if we're together. Oh. It must be a trap. But if you need to stop him from making new clones, there's no choice but to walk into the trap. That's right, but if you come with us, we'll have a better chance of surviving whatever he throws at us. I sense a ballast battle coming along. Not entirely looking forward to it. At least I have a couple healers this time. I know you're only involved in this because Krunk tried to trick you, but please help us! What he's doing isn't right, and it endangers us all. 
If you'll help us, make whatever preparations you need. Then come and speak with me again. When you're ready, we'll activate the teleport for all five of us. Alright. Well, I could do that, but you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to stay at my house a bunch of times until I get the soda pop thing again. Yeah, it's cheating, but after losing my soda pop thing from saving before... Which kind of sucked. Wait, I don't want to do that yet. I want to check if it's happening. Nope, not yet. Like, seriously, watching myself save over the file where I had the soda pop, not to mention saving over the file before I... Before I spent the 200 gold and wasted it on the slot machines. I haven't facepalmed at myself so hard since... Since I said that 12 plus 16 was 38. Ah, new equipment. Sure, I'll take a look at that. Oh wait, I don't have enough money. Even had I not spent it at the thing. Which means there's no point in talking to my goblin there. There it is. There's the soda pop. So I'll go ahead and grab that real quick. Yeah, nope, no, I'm not getting that. I've never thought I'd be so frantic over a sparkle in a video game. Oh yeah, and another thing I wound up saving over was that cutscene introducing the underground whatever the place was. I would have liked to have been able to play that again whenever I actually get to that in the future episode. Probably next time. I guess I'm just going to have to replay the clip or something. Are you ready? You know, you didn't have an exclamation mark over your head. I know I'm supposed to talk to you. I'm not sure what Kronko is, has waiting for us, so make sure you're really set. Uh, let's see. Okay, let me know. No, not an interesting message. Let's go. Alright guys, we each need to stand on a symbol. That will activate the teleportation and send us all to Krunk. Good luck to us all. I think it's awesome how in RPG Maker PCs, whatevers, you can have more than one character moving at the same time. So, my forgotten sons have finally returned. They're not forgetting you knew they were coming. Are you here to beg my forgiveness? They should totally say yes. I'm curious what would happen if they said yes. We won't allow you to make more clones of yourself to use as slaves, Krunk. You're only half right. I have been planning to create more clones, but not of myself. I can't move. I learned my lesson when you refused to obey me. My new domination machine will ensure that all clones created by me will bow to my will. But I should thank you, my children. For all your faults, you truly served me in the end, whether you knew it or not. You delivered the greatest hero of all time right into my grasp, exactly as I intended. So, he's going to clone Simple Man. Simple Man's going to have to fight himself. I like that. You knew I would come here? It's been my plan all along, ever since I asked you to capture my intruder. Just think of what I could do with an army of Simple Man clones under my control like puppets on string. Sorry, Krunk, but I'm not just going to let lay down my arms and let you in. It has just occurred to me. He's trying to clone... Simple man. More than one simple man. I imagine most of you watching this video have no idea of the repercussions of that. You can't beat me. I won't have to. Kill him, my children. Simple man, we can't control ourselves 
Well, that wasn't the problem before. Oh, my guardian angel just appeared in this stuff. What? My domination machine, it stopped working! Well, Crunk, looks like your scheme has backfired. Ugh, not yet. I spent too long preparing for this to just surrender to you. If I have to destroy you all with my bare hands, then so be it. Yep, boss fight. And multiple enemies again. Not looking forward to this. I have the best weapons money can buy. Crunk pulls out a flamethrower. Oh, I want one. Alright. So, what do I start with here? Hopefully this battle will be more interesting than la the last one I fought. Alright. So, Reiner has told me that this thing that starts a chain has always started a chain and I just didn't notice. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to try to pay attention to any new abilities that pop up here that mention a chain or simply weren't there originally. So let's see here, start with that. Bonanza, guess what? You're going to do this thing. And RPGD. There's gotta be a catch to this. Heal all party members that much can be instantly repeated. I don't get it. One ally gains a large boost to that until you start channeling. I really want to find out what this is going to do, so let's go ahead and use that. Additional healing, was that something that added whenever he leveled up or something? The effect is lost that the spell is not cast again next turn. Okay, that sounds interesting. So this appeared, is that the thing that continues to chain? Well, let's use it. Ooh, oh, that's always fun. Like the multi attack stuff. Alright, so th basically, I can keep using this over and over again until uh, he stops doing it. Well, sure. Oh, there we go. The clones surround Krunk. We'll help you. Together, we can bring Krunk down. Interesting. Did not expect that. You miserable traitors, I give you life and I'll take it away. This, this battle might not be so bad. Right, let's try a regular attack, see if that does any- wait, 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 no, we gotta finish this chain. Oh, I can heal a cr Crunk clone for 50 HP. Well, first, let's see if there's any more of this thing that... No, I guess there's no more, uh, chain. Oh, well, there's that chain. I'll worry about that in a bit. Uh, since that other thing didn't appears uh, I'll try to do a regular attack cuz attack crunk yeah do that I see how much damage this does just a regular attack 14 it's not really adding a whole lot all right so we're probably going to want to just do these dramatic charge and that's gonna start a chain I guess I'll go ahead and 
use that again first off and he's gonna go ahead and stop the channel's funnel strength. This I'm really curious but I'll worry about that after where our health gets a little low. Don't need that. Ending that. I'm not terribly worried about healing just yet. So let's go ahead and use that. See how much damage it causes. There's gotta be more to this fight. His health is going down pretty fast. Aww. Oh, that's interesting. Hey, thanks for telling me. It'll make it easy to add some math and figure out how much HP he has for editing. Everyone has been burned. 10 damage taken per turn. You will suffer. You will all suffer. Is it actually going to tell me whenever the 10 damage is taking effect? Because if not, I'm not going to be able to tell very easily. Okay, maybe I will tell very easily. You've actually hurt me. I need to change my strategy. Crunk throws the flamethrower aside and pulls out a necromancy staff. That doesn't sound good. Yeah, my worry here is for editing purpose, I want to find out how much HP this guy has. Will I be able to tell when this guy takes damage from being burned? Well, judging by the flame icons and how much the burn lower the health meters of the clones. You know, if Krunk is purple and the other clones are normal looking, what does that say about the cloning process? For that matter, what does that say about the original? Alright, let's go ahead and heal a clone. Then we'll go ahead and... 10 damage to all enemies. Uh, that's not going to be very helpful for this fight. Extra rep per turn. That's useful. Alright. Emergency Savior. Not really worth using that. His only option is heal clone. Oh, alright. Wait, wait, wait. I didn't want to do... I meant to hit back so I can back up to the simple man's attack a a turn and Well on the plus side I'll get to find out if you can heal Krunk. Yes. Gosh darn it. Shouldn't have hit the wrong button. All right. Attack Krunk. As long as we're going to be attacking, I don't see this doing a whole lot. Now, uh, I wasted a he Krunk heal. Guess it's one of those things where you can only do it once in a fight. That's not helpful. Still not worth using that, still not worth using that. I guess I'll just use a regular attack. I find it interesting whenever somebody drains health from a character, it says that the target drained health. Should be drained health from, not drained health. Or health drained. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm going to have to look at the message again. Or I'll just edit in a text box saying what I mean to say. Or what it should say. Whatever. Oh, the burn is almost over. Apparently it ends randomly. Well, shoot. It's going to make it kind of difficult seeing whatever. Stuff like that really needs to be showing up inf on the information thing. Everyone took 10 damage. I would like to know that. Alright. Uh, Just do that, I guess. Anything interesting here? We got aimless swing back. Sure. 
Oh, I forgot to check how much damage that did. The cr clones need to get a critical hit. Simple Man drained 15 HP. Should say 15 HP drained from Simple Man. Alright. It's kind of getting a little low on HP there, so... I might... Let's see. Inspiring attack. I'll use that after Bonanza's buff wears out. In the meantime, I guess regular attack. And then there's that. Love that attack. Aw, the thing went away. Well, we're not in terrible pain. Tell you what one of the Crunk clones is. I wonder how much his attack increase, if at all. Alright, go Bonds! Enough screwing around, gas bag. Crunk throws the staff aside and pulls out a Titan's Hammer. Ding! Crunk has leveled up. <laughs> uh, wait, does that mean he's also going to get stronger because of that? Oh, heal clone comes up every three turns. I should have healed that clone. So is this going to be affected in the after the cussing? That would be really interesting if it turned out after this fight, one of the clones really was dead. Wait. Where's the thing that I was just looking at? That... Did a special attack and then buffed stuff. Um, it's gone. Lame. All right. Uh, I guess we're going to be using. That again. Uh, let's go ahead and try Chain Heal. I'm really curious if that really can be used every turn. Ow! It's a good thing I'm doing Chain Heal. Needed that. Nice. Oh, so that's how it works. It's not that you could use it every turn, it's that you use it once and then you can continue using it if you wanted to, if you have enough rep. Well, that's less broken than I expected it to be, but I like that, I like how that works. Uh, huh. sure. And no. Well, that clone didn't stand a chance. Oh, I guess I could have used another heal in there somewhere. Ah, well, Bonanza's got that one thing going. Uh, let's boost our attack. Turns out mental, mental Lash is pretty good. Use it 3 rep in addition to only using it once every other turn. Hmm. Uh... 
I'll save that for in just in case I need it. Hopefully I won't need it. Wait, I can use that again. So that it's not a turn cost, you can use it anytime you want, it just uses a bunch of rep. Well, alright. Let's just use Mental Lash for the time being though. That's a lot of damage. You will suffer, you will all suffer! If it's focus ended, then what does that mean? Not sure. Anything really good here? No? Let's just heal a clo the one clone then. Because the leveling up is kind of... not great. Alright, once again, RPGD can only heal a clone. So this time I will cancel out properly. And let's see here. Just attack. And you, aimless swing. You can heal the clone. There we go. That definitely hurts. Alright. Time for a, uh, a, a nice heal. Which heal? I'm not sure. You can do a double attack. You... Yeah, let's get that back on there. And you... Transfer health. Lowers his max. Heals 30 to 50. Or I could use Chain Heal. That would use up the rest of his... Rep. Heals everybody by 30. You know what? Let's try Emergency Savior. Let's really get Bonanza's health up there. Oh, this battle's over. Defeated. Again. Again? What happened? When, when was the first time? You beat the enemy in 12 turns. I think that's a record. Or was there a time that I did 11 turns? Either way, that fight was a whole lot better than the fight against the thing. The, the Dark Spirit. I really wonder, had I taken Bonanza into the battle with the Dark Spirit, would, have been, would it have been easier since I would have had somebody with like a... the auto-regen thing? Oh, and sure enough, two of the clones are dead. And just like that, Crunk wipes half of us out. Oh, I'm going to miss them. I won't. At the very least, he didn't kill the one that talked. Here, simple man, take this gold as a reward. I wish you could give you more. We never would have done it without you. So, had I kept all of them alive, would I have been, gotten a bigger reward? Not that 500 gold is a lot to sneeze at. Well, as I expected, now I can go ahead and do the quest, that thing that gets the... Where I play the slot machines five times. Also, there's a treasure chest. There's a chest up there too, help yourself to it. When you're ready to go, talk to me and I'll activate the teleporter. But there's only two of you! You found Rago Crown and 121 gold. All right, let's try the Rago Crown. Bonus HP up that much. Hmm. That seems pretty useful. I keep forgetting I can just do this. Alright, so it depends on who I want to have more health in battle. 
Well, he's already got 10 plus 10 bonus HP, so it's either going to be Bonanza or RPGD. I think it'll be RPGD because he has the least amount of health and he has the lowest defense between Bonanza and the other thing. Robo Slime creates a potion in battle. L. What does the L stand for? Light? No, because then you have the worn tunic which doesn't have anything to it. Does it just mean that it has... I don't know. Either way, you get the regal crown. Which looks more like a headband than a crown. So... Can I talk to you? No, but I can walk on you. You know, you really shouldn't let people walk all over you like that. That's Krunk's lab. I don't think anyone should go in there until we know it's safe. Will I ever be able to go in there? Probably not. And I can walk on you too. What will you do now? Okay, good. I'll... Uh... I was kind of worried I wouldn't be able to talk to him if he was walkable. Stay here, I suppose. There could be other dangerous things in this lab that will have to be removed. And personally, I'm not sure the pavilion is a true home to me. But it is for you. Are you ready to go back? Why wouldn't I want to? If I forgot the treasure chest or something? Thanks again. So long. Quest complete! Oh, and because two of them got killed, two of the things are gone. Is that of significance? Clones killed in battle, two. Times the hero clone, three. On the ground you see an old gobbly. Perhaps it once belonged to Krunk in happier times. Alright, I got six goblies. So, um... Had I not, had I been able to keep all the other Krunks alive, would I have been able to go back down for whatever reason? I'm really curious. But I'm not so curious to repeat the fight. Instead, I will try to capture this thing. And fail. I don't really get how to capture that thing. It's like sometimes it works if I run into them, sometimes I have to rapidly press the confirm button. I don't get it. In any case, this, this uh, quest is over. Next time we are going to go ahead and find out what the deal is with the underground passage. But first, do you have anything good? Uh, just a cloth bandage, which I didn't have to use. Huh. And I got a bad poem. Not that I can do anything with it. Anyway, yeah, that's the end of this episode. I think I'll go ahead and keep the thing that I found. The extra H bonus HP seems like a pretty nice thing. So hopefully, hopefully I will not find a situation where using the easy mode to get through this quest will prevent me from getting the perfect ending. I don't know, maybe Reiner can tell me. Just in case. I am going to go ahead and save on the other file. Which other file? I don't know. There's the new one, and... Yeah, I'll save there. Today is Wednesday. Next time, it will be Wednesday. I'll see you then.